So the long-acting reversibles include the IUD, um, the intrauterine device, and the edonergestrel implant, which is also known as Implanon. Sometimes people call them LARCs, L-A-R-C, for long-acting reversible contraceptive. The benefit of these is that they are forgettable. There are two types of IUDs, the copper IUD and the levonorgestrel IUD, otherwise known as Mirena. Um, the levonorgestrel IUD works for five years. The major benefit of it is that it also releases a tiny amount of progesterone every single day in really, really, really low levels that allow the lining of the uterus to be very thin and therefore most women who have it will have very light bleeding or no bleeding. So they'll still have their natural hormone changes with ovulation, but their periods themselves will be very light or even non-existent. The reason why it works so effectively is it causes progesterone, or the progesterone release causes the cervical mucus to be very thick, which prevents infection, but also prevents um, sperm from getting up inside the uterus and it creates a sort of a, an environment inside the uterus where an embryo cannot implant. Now, it doesn't cause abortions, but it basically prevents pregnancy from happening. The copper IUD lasts for 10 years, and it doesn't have any hormone in it. It's just plain copper, and it also works in a similar fashion by sort of creating an, un, you know, an unhappy environment where an embryo can implant and cause a pregnancy. So there are very nice, um, nice methods of using. That one also has a, has the same failure rate of about one in a thousand. So for a thousand teenagers, one will get pregnant when using it. Very effective. The Implanon is uh, a three-year progesterone called Edonogestrel. It goes in your arm, usually sits right here, okay, underneath the skin. You can't see it, but you can feel it there. The major benefit of it is it also releases very low levels of progesterone slowly over the course of the three years. Very, very effective. Again, one in a thousand rate of getting pregnant. So all of these methods are very safe for teenagers. Um, they're also very, very effective forms of prevention of birth control. And because it releases a little bit of progesterone, um, it thins the uterine lining and actually makes it harder, we think, for infection to travel up and implant inside the uterus. None of these methods protect you from getting chlamydia or gonorrhea, herpes, warts, HIV. You still have to use condoms every single time. So that is very important for teenagers to know. It's great contraceptive, but it doesn't protect you against sexually transmitted infection.